Hey, what is up, YouTube? Today, I have a 1987 Dayton 20-inch box fan. This thing is just... I don't even know how to describe it. It's in more than immaculate condition. None of the grill slats are missing on this thing. Even, in, even on the back of the fan, let me twist this thing around. None of the grill slats are missing at all. And apart from, you know, just all this rust on the side, and more specifically on the top. All that shit over there. Oh, also the handle's broken, but. Just apart from all of that, the, the grill, front and back, as well as the blade, it's just in perfect condition. Now, the blade is a little bit darkened, I'm guessing. A lot of 80s plastics do darken over the years. I can probably get some, uh hydrogen peroxide on it to help brighten it up and make it look a bit more white like these uh, grill blades here, but yeah. When I did get this fan, it was really dirty. There was a bunch of like half inch thick dust just caked up all around the edges of the blade right there. Inside of these grill slats, there's like a, you can still see there's some dust on there, but it's all right, I'm not gonna go through and clean all of these because there's easily over a hundred spaces right here let me just count real quick okay so I just did the math and these sort of grill spaces measure 11 spaces this way by 39 spaces this way so that's 429 spaces well minus these two since the badge is here so 427 spaces on this one 429 for the back so yeah i'm cleaning almost a thousand grill spaces with just a single q-tip just to get rid of those little bits of dust in there before i turn this fan on anyone know where i can get a replacement handle for this thing because it's just kind of dangling on there it is a three speed turn it on to its lowest speed first I think it's on. Yep. This thing is very quiet on its lowest speed. You almost can't even hear it. Just the absolute most slightest breeze ever. I'm gonna turn it on the medium. It does rattle a bit. Now, it's highest speed. fan does have a uh, an exposed shaft on the back of it so when it turns on you can see it's spinning <sighs> all right so before I end this video, I'm just going to tell y'all something. 
I wish this was my fan. Because if it were my fan, I would give this thing the whole fucking nine yards. You know, fresh coat of paint on it. I'd try to replace that handle. Somehow get all that writing and shit off of that. I don't even know what's written on it. I can't read it. But, yeah, if this were mine, I'd get some fresh paint over here. Get rid of all that rust. Retro bright the, uh, the blades on there. Repaint this grill because, I mean, although it's almost perfect, there's still, you got some little bits of green right here. I'm pretty sure that's just, like, marker or something. Seems to be a bit of a crack right here. I can feel it in my fingernail. I'll try to replace these screws or at least just get the rust off the screws. I did replace one of them. Yeah, but... Actually, there was two of them I had to replace because they were missing. Turn this shit around. Because most of the rust ain't even on the outside of the fan. It's on the inside. More specifically, the motor mount struts. They're just horrible. If I were to repaint this fan, it would either be a like the original gray i can't even tell if it's like a gray or a uh like a gray or a tan i'm gonna have to it seems more tan in person but on video it seems more gray that's pretty weird it probably is a tan if i'm honest because i feel like it would go better with the uh the brown right there <laughs> i should probably mention here it's rather peculiar there's only two bolts holding this motor together there's a bolt right there let me zoom in there's a bolt right there and another bolt right there and that's it normally these mcmillan motors should have four bolts holding it together they'd be like one right there one right there there and there with those little square holes with in addition to the uh the four mounting screws right there I don't know why this one only has two. I don't think it had any more than two because there's really, there's no markings around the uh, where the other two bolt holes were. Maybe they got rid of two to save money. I really can't tell you, but it's the end of this video. Like and subscribe.